Jay. Um, I'm a volunteer who came over from England. I go to university in Leeds. And this summer I decided as part of my break to volunteer for a change, to try something different. I wanted to volunteer to primarily just make a change to someone's life, um, which is why I chose construction because you actively help out in literally just giving someone a house that didn't have one before, that didn't have a roof over their heads like we do back home. And you can see what the difference you make in even a couple of days, the progress that you make. And it's a really good feeling, you know, all the hard work really pays off even at the end of the day. I chose to volunteer with Avic because um, after researching a lot online, I literally spent about two weeks Googling about. Um, a lot of volunteer programs, they wanted a lot of money that was like more like a donation and that went to people's wages that wasn't actually fruitful for what you're paying for. Whereas with Avic, first of all, it was really bang for buck. You get really good value and you're, the most important bit is you're actively involved. Other projects that were in construction uh, that I found, uh, other volunteer programs, you weren't really helping that much. Whereas here, you're really you're doing as much as any other worker or the foreman or anyone else. was fairly straightforward. Um, after filling out what I needed to, um, any problems that they had, they asked before, like I needed to send a photo that I didn't do by accident or whatever. Everything I needed, like where the mall was, which is really local, it's like a two minute walk, the fruit market, the banks to change money, just everything was really helpful. And I, anything else, you, you learn how to do pretty quickly. You get used to it you, and you adjust. My name is Bilbo Cat. My project placement was really good. Um, I really liked it. It was in a small town called Zamora, which um, the, the, you have to take a bus there, which is about a two minute walk away. And the bus journey is about 10 to 15 minutes. Everyone's really friendly. Again, if you get lost, you can just ask any local for help. It's, it's really convenient. You meet loads of people on the bus every day, like have the weirdest conversations. But the work. I'd say in construction was, was very hard for the most part. I mean, some of the jobs are a lot easier than others and you have to take breaks just because it's really wearing out. I mean, um, but yeah, they, they put you to work and you've just got to remember to sometimes take it easy, have a bit of water if you're feeling a bit bad, whatever, but you do a lot of digging, a lot of digging. You do a lot of cement work, cement mixing, just anything that needs to be doing that you would in the house, bricklaying, refining more digging. There's a lot of digging involved because they don't really have foundations here. You just dig out the foundations out of mud. My name is Accommodation was really good. We were in a house share that um, a Vic and new volunteer rent out and there were, when I got here at the time, there were seven people here and there were two rooms of four each and there were two bunk beds in each room and everyone was really great. Like we respected each other's space. The lounge was, you know, a great place to chill when we wanted to, like, an evening free. Every weekend, like I said, Friday mornings, we got up really early, so we get the first bus, we had more time to travel. And we normally ended up getting back uh, Sunday afternoon. Some of the best places that we went to were La Fortuna, Arenal, uh, Puerto Viejo, uh, Montezuma, uh, Monte Verde. Um, to name a few, they were all really great and I'd recommend them for you to go about. Buy Lonely Planet book, they're really helpful. The main thing I wanted to do really when I came here was, as in the point of coming here to volunteer, was to give someone a house and have I achieved that? Yeah, because I was part of a team, I mean obviously it's not all you doing it, you have to be part of a team because that's the way it works. It was nothing and on my last day, like the walls there, the roof was on, like it's crazy. So in terms of like, do I feel like I've made a difference or do I feel like I've done something good? Absolutely. And even if you're only here for a week, you should still do it because you don't realise the impact it has on someone's life, just the little bit of help you can have.
yeah, if you're watching this, it means you're considering volunteering and I would really recommend coming with our Vic or you volunteer because they really help you out and when you get stuck, they're there to help you. Cheers! There was a